side of the ball. Rager back to receive this. You wouldn't imagine Cal would give him an opportunity. As this one once again is dropped inside the 20. Oklahoma State in a key spot. Mulestein to throw. He wants Rager, and it's short for Mulestein. Pressure up the middle. On the roll, Mulestein lets it rip out of bounds. One of the leaders in this game so far, Adam Nunez, one of two punters for TCU. To Remigio, who ends up having a backtrack and gets his mitts on the ball but loses some yardage. Physical defensive lineman. Collier ended up in the backfield. He just ran the tackle right into Garbers. You want to climb in the pocket and get back to the line of sprint. Across his body, batted away, incomplete. Coots rolls out. Rager has a chance from the 15. And he gets tripped up. For TCU, that was the whole central focus of practice. As this one goes down the middle and intercepted. Jalen Hawkins was the only one who knew the ball was thrown. And Cal has a pick. Garbers. Touchdown. He got by Collier to score. Time. Sideline ball incomplete for making. More than offenses that are struggling. What's bigger tonight? Points off turnovers or points not off turnovers? It's probably not close, right? This one goes out of bounds. That's what we saw right there. We saw bunting earlier. McCallum castles that time and it's intercepted. Picked off by TCU and Julius Lewis to turn it over for the first time for the one cross defense. Off the screen, Mulestein runs into Kanachik. That star player, Jalen Rager, in motion. He can throw back to Mulestein. Where's this going? Who knows? The other way. Flags everywhere. Hawkins' second pick inside the 20. But it didn't go well for GCU on that one. Garber's on play action. Intercepted! Nico Small! To the 44! The defenses smell points tonight. Be a game for those guys. Yulstein felt the heat, gave away the pocket, threw across his body, and Kanoshik ripped it off! In 16 minutes and change. Changed along with him and was willing to make that hard decision. Garver is flushed out and he wings it out of bounds. So. Coots to Rager. A fair catch that he has to step up for and in peril. Pull in right around the 15. Take the Horn Frogs back out. Can't have a running play intercepted, but it can go for a loss. Back showing blitz, and here he comes. Mulestein feels the rush. Flag comes in. Mulestein finally chucks it out of bounds and will check the mark. When Mulestein was not successful there. Going nowhere. At the 29. I don't think you would be in there very long. Thank you for the compliment. Chase Garbers on the roll for Cal on first down, and he lobs it out of bounds. More motivation in this bowl game after the beatdown that they faced with their rivals. There's Ty Summers back from injury. The senior linebacker with a sack for five. Walls came in, Carver spun around and sacked. Banigou, that senior defensive end. It's the Big 12. Rager waves for the fair catch. 
Alana Lua, TCU's largest gain of the night by far. On first down, under two to go in the half. Yulstein giving ground, wanted the screen, it's batted away. Yulstein, the senior who waited for his chance, hands it off and gives him a fourth down and about two and a half coming up. Yulstein, pressure. Yulstein goes down. Sacked by Cal's Travion Beck and Evan Rambo got in there. Timeouts. That was a very costly move on that play as that ball is intercepted by Jeff Gladney for TCU. And Gladney leaves some time for the Horn Frogs. TCU two timeouts. Muehlstein has to climb the pocket, and this is going to do it for the first half as he has to sling it out of bounds. Kanaja came with the pressure. Seven points, seven punts, six turnovers. TCU the will get quarter. the ball after halftime. Mule's time. Going for it all too much. Incomplete for Jalen Austin. Mule's time. Maybe it's with his legs. He was in front of the line of scrimmage, and it's picked off anyway. The third for Jalen Hawkins. So look, you wait for your opportunity, and then suddenly they both are playing in the same game at a crossroads here in Phoenix. So Muehlstein off the interception on the phone. Cal has uh, played right into the turn here. And their splash source is tonight. Got a better chance of a splash in the pool in the outfield. Where is that? Because some of these players may want to visit that before the night's out. And we saw on that drive right there. Who does it change most for? I think receivers and quarterbacks trying to be on the same page. Not the same, I agree. Di Mercado to the 45. First down, TCU. Fullback, each back type guy. They sprint to the line, and the far side official has a mark short. The near side official is right on the 45, so we'll see where the spot is. Sometimes I, I don't think the hurry up quarterback sneak is that effective offensively because. I don't think your offensive linemen get off the ball nearly as well as they would if they had a chance to think about the snap count to some extent. And we're literally, what is that, three chain links from the line of game. Definition of what they're looking at. Type of play that they decide this kind of a game. Well, they do get the field position they want to, so we'll see how that plays out. I mean, look, we'll see how it plays out if Forrest getting these snaps is in part because he's a senior, they want to give him some run, or if it's for the rest of the game. TCU rushes three, pump and go. Sideline ball, it is caught! Beautiful grab by Jordan Duncan going down to the deck. It's a gain of 34. Forrest drops it in the shirt pocket of Duncan. Now Forrest on the scramble, unloads it. And this is going nowhere, Jeremiah Hawkins. Third down for Forrest. And this is incomplete. Jeremiah Hawkins wasn't out of the break yet. And it's fourth down coming up. A premium in this one. Coots punting to Rager. This one he will run. Breaks one tackle. Rager on his way outside. Jalen Rager. Hurdles across the 35. There is a field position flip for TCU's electric sophomore. Rager's one-on-one -on -one with Hicks, and they will run it. This is short by two yards. Olana Lua. No reverse, he runs it himself. First down and more. Olana Lua. A runaway track for six. Olana Lua at the goal line and not through the goal line. 
play will resume after the meeting. Jaywell and Lana Lua on that last run did get in according to instant replay. Ruling on the field overturned. It's a touchdown. Here's why. Did a great job by the replay booth just before that right knee of Lana Lua. Miami. He said this is a huge loss of English monitor. Well, and Manny Diaz will go and coach that game, as he said, as Corey Bentley gets a sack to close out the third quarter. And TCU's getting lively end of the third quarter. How about that? They have a great pedigree run. They have a TCU's defense is eaten right now. 20, that's the eighth tackle for loss for TCU. Down the sideline, battle for an incomplete. Jordan Duncan covered by Lewis, who had a pick earlier. Captain, you kick it directionally away from those punt returners that can change games. That was a high snap. So a little scramble here to get it off. Rager lets it bounce once, and he's got a shot. Jalen Rager right up the zipper across the 40, and a flag comes in. And it may be however it happens tonight. The freshman Barber reaches out and gets socked. The senior who waited his turn on the roll. Mulestein has to give it up. Beckett was bearing down on him. Another miracle chapter to his story in Tuscaloosa. By the way, Gary Patterson will be part of the coach's film room. He loads up down the sideline and incomplete. Thing tonight in the punt return game. Coots line drive to the sideline and that frees it. How mobile is Rodgers? And we're going to find out real fast. He shed Weaver and Rodgers goes down. That's very last on the list of things they wanted to see. Third down at 12. He gets rid of it quickly. Olana Lua goes down is causing problems, and so you can't really drive into your throw as a quarterback. That's trouble. Fair catch for Remigio. Six games, he's hooking the wagon to Patrick Lair. Forrest across his body in the traffic and trouble and picked off. Another interception. Vernon Scott this time. This game on five completions, so they run. Into the line and driven back. Alana Lua didn't get there. Evan Weaver. It is a power play to the right. Does he have enough? No, sir! Cal holds the line. The second half, Forrest. The senior on third down. Unloads and incomplete. Nico Small jumped it well. Good at pinning the opposition inside the 20. Fair catch for Rager. He was second string starting the year. Darius Anderson out. Oh, on a little off the middle. Across midfield, first down, TCU. For Mulestein, who waited his turn to play. Now he fires for Jalen Austin, who gets torpedoed inside the 30. First down, TCU. From 44.